Okay, got one quick little job this morning, followed by two condensate pump rebuilds that I've been promising for like the past two days. Well, that went well. I hope the pumps go equally as well. Just have to run back to the shop really quick to grab a key for the first building. The second building is actually where I was replacing the inducer motor on the roof also, but I'm not gonna have time to do both of those today, so I pawned it off onto somebody else. You hear the roar? Why does it keep turning on and off? That's low. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Rebuild this thing. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, mm. Well, there was my idiot move of the video. I left the parts to rebuild it back at the shop because I was so focused on getting a new motor and a condensate pump in case I can't rebuild it that I must have put it down and left it. <sighs> well, that's usually how these videos go. Me doing something stupid and then someone having to come and drop it off to me. <laughs> I think for right now, for a couple minutes, I'm gonna throw the boiler on bypass and just give him a shot of heat upstairs. Fill this up too, because we're a little low. This is like right in line with the float. Oh, man. No switch for the pump. didn't do it, so we gotta follow it back. Up, over, across, this way. That wasn't it. Okay, that was it. Parts have arrived. I 
see of the diesel truck. Got him. A little rusty, but we can clean that up. You see that? Goes like this. We take our impeller off. Oh, yeah. Here, this is a new seal kit. Okay, this is very important what direction it goes in. We got this little white bushing on top and a little metal bushing on the bottom. Looks like the metal bushing goes towards the impeller. Yeah, see, there's the little white bushing down there. So if the cast iron mounting plate sat this way, power came on this side, which means this is going to sit this way. So I need these little tabs to be in line with the lock nut. pretty good. Oh. Duh. Gasket. <clears throat> okay, nice and tight. Now, line this up. Okay. Oh, it's going to turn this way. 
what's that, clockwise, just to make sure we got some free movement in there. And if I turned it the wrong way, well, then uh, I'm going to be unscrewing it. It's going to lock up, and we're not going to pump. Now. Okay, so these bolts, I have to pull them all nice and even so go, you know, on an odd angle and bind up the impeller because then it's not going to pump. So I got to do, you know, I'll probably do like quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, and just keep going around in a circle the whole time I'll be doing that. I'm going to try and, you know, spin the impeller to make sure it's still free and clear. This is a lot easier when you have two people. All right. Now we just got to chip away the old gasket. And of course, I lent out my scraper, never got it back, so I got to do it by hand. Moment of truth. Let's start making some condensate. One down, one to go. At least this boiler's no longer gonna short cycle. Ah. Ah. Ow. So. Change of plans. Doing the inducer. It's also like three o'clock. So the condensate pump's gonna take a couple hours. This is gonna take a couple minutes, which I'm actually okay with. I was looking forward to the condensate pump, but time-wise, this makes a lot more sense. The condensate pump, I'll probably pick that up first thing in the morning. So that's where we'll pick up in the morning, but let's do this first. I think that's about all I need. At least that's what I hope is all I need because that's all I'm bringing. A lot easier when all you gotta carry is two things. All right, not bad. Don't wanna forget that. See you tomorrow.